All right, so I had to make a reaction video to this. This is going viral, which you can you can take it take it in, and maybe learn a thing or two. What I'm learning is what the heck is going out there with the with all the men, right? We grow up, we work, we grow up to become men. All right, we become to grow up grow up to become men but then through that process throughout these years i think it's been getting confusing <laughs> it's been getting confusing on on what a real man should be what's our responsibilities what is what's our role as being a man right so now we're going to be going into this video right here uh they had like some panel or something like that from fresh and fit podcast and there is these two men i'm not gonna say gentlemen i'm careful with calling somebody a gentleman and it's not uh, a gentleman is respectful first of all all right a gentleman is respectful and takes things in consideration all right doesn't react too easily has some self-control has some discipline takes care of himself because he's going to need it. He's going to need to stay strong. For who? The family. The family. We are meant to reproduce, right? To reproduce and to raise up the next generation properly. Being a gentleman. All right? So check this out. You, you probably already seen it, but I want to give my, my two cents on this. All right? You guys ready? Let's do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> In my definition of success is across the board. If you're not ripped, if you're not rich, if you ain't rare, if you don't stand out, if you ain't across the board successful, it doesn't mean me. If you got straight and you're in your Rolls Royce, you look like a clown to me. I'm just laughing at your dumb But this is the whole point. You have a weakness. Change it. How the are you going to lead people if you don't realize your weakness is their way out? They're not going to listen to you. You're sitting there possessing shit they don't want to have. So, I mean, this is what people say. Oh, it's not about the money. It's about family, Wes. It's about this, about that. When you're making money, it's about the money. When it's family, it's about family. When you're at the gym, it's about muscle. Whatever you're doing, it's about that. There's no black and white life. It's the gray area. You have to be good at everything. That's the goal, to really excel in every area. I, I roll in most rooms with successful entrepreneurs and they're just, they're, it's pathetic. They'll have like a before and after picture of their fitness and their after picture looks like their before pick. And I'm like, I'm not embarrassed to this. Like you have enough money and that's what you put out. You're that big of a, like, I, I just can't get behind anything that's not done at a high level. So knock the one thing off the board first, then the next thing, then the next thing. Jados is ripped rich and rare. I mean, the whole thing, what's rare mean to me? It means no vices. It means no drugs, no alcohol, no bullshit. You don't have to hide behind nothing. I mean, what's rich? I mean, you get to do what you want. You don't, I don't need you to be a billionaire to say you're rich or other people, they'll see that even I rent my place. It's 95000 a month. But they're like, you rent your place. It's like, you dumb. You don't understand how, how to even operate at my level. People don't buy a $24 million house. They buy $24 million worth of properties that would bring them more money. You don't dump all that into that liability and live in some $24 million pad you bought. Make investments and you bring it back to this. But everybody thinks they know some shit. And if you don't have the results that I want in some area, I can't listen to you. So most people, I just, I, I won't listen to them. What are they going to tell me? Some comes up to me at the gym and he's like, Hey, you should do your push-ups like this. And I say, why? <laughs> so I can look like you. And the guy's like, oh, no, but like, it, it looks like you're going to hurt your, shut the, dude. I'm going to end up with your chest if I do that. Why would I want that? Or you just go in my comments and I like, I'll say some purpose. I'm like, rent or buy. And if you ain't at the level to even do either of these up and don't even participate. And they just get mad. It's like, you're, you don't get to have an opinion if it's not an option for you. You don't get to say my chick's a BBL and her fake aren't for you. You couldn't get her. You You got three. And that's the worst thing about these. They try to give you relationship advice. You got a borderline Miami two. That's like a, that's like 
Mississippi six. Like, what are you talking about? Don't give me relationship advice to my 10 when you got a two. Shut up. But this is this whole thing. People don't think I'm going to put the measuring stick to their fucking face. They better just watch what they say around a who who's beating them in every area. And if someone is beating you, just ask them. Just be humble. Beg like, you're better than mine. How'd you get her? That car's way more than mine. How'd you do it? You make more than me. What's up? Like, just ask. And that's the thing. People aren't humble enough to ask. That's that's my got to be across the board. You better have a bad You better be ripped. You better be rolling some sick that's what I like. I, I grew up hussing. There's be rims on my phantom. Go out front. It ain't no, that ain't normal phantom. That's a mansory phantom. I don't have the normal that. That upgrade's done. Well said, Wes. With the fire. Yeah, we do what we do. We got, I, I, I've been watching Goldie's content. That's the reason. I, I've been watching Goldie's content. He, he be getting me in trouble. My chick don't like his content. She's like, he's making too much sense. Shout out to Goldie. All right, what about you? All right, 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 all right. So, here's my take, all right? Check this out, all right? He, this guy, he's actually right on some parts. He's a little bit in balance, I would say, because some of it is true. You have to work hard, all right? You have to work hard, not only for your family, not only, you know, to gain some kind of semi-success in order to feed yourself, feed your family, put clothing on their back and yourself and put shelter, uh, you know, over you and your family, so on and so on, right? You have to make enough to, to take care of your family, all right? If you're not being able to take care of your family, you're, you're slacking, Oh, but, but Manny, uh, I, I did my best. No, you haven't. You can do, you if you have to go and have two, three jobs, if necessary, that's what you're going to have to do. If you have to, um, you know, you, you do whatever it takes. I'm not talking about doing anything criminally, all right, anything illegal. I'm talking about working with your hands, with your mind. You know, do being a provider, that's what it takes. It's it, you go all the way back to hunting and gathering. Uh hunting and gathering days, we were hunters, gatherers, and we also were protectors, right? We need to protect the family as well. You should be taking care of yourself, or else you're not gonna make it uh against some kind of other tribe or or a, a predator or, or anything like that, anything heavier. Anything heavy, anything that has to do heavy or uh, withstanding more pain than the woman, that's where you got to go in. All right. So, yeah, you do have to. Do you have to be ripped? No. Do you have to speak like that? No. You know, wh what are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? Am I supposed to take you more seriously because you're using a ton of of F-bombs? Am I am I am I am I supposed to be scared of you because you're using a ton of f bombs? You know, as for me, I used to use profanity all the time as well back in the day, but I cleaned it up, and as you can see, I'm I'm living well, you know, and I I'm not rich myself. I don't have uh, a, a ton of wealth, you know. I have enough to provide shelter, food, and clothing on the back of my children and wife and myself. Does my wife work? Yeah, she works. She decides that she wants to work. If she didn't want to work, then we're going to have to work out some kind of master plan in order for it to fit this economy, right? This level of um, work ethic that we got going on right now. But anyways, that's my take so far. Uh, but he is kind of true on some things. He's right on some things. Do you? Like I said, again, let me reiterate. You don't have to have millions of dollars. You don't. That's one thing that I see red flagging. You don't have to be huge or ripped. He says he he says you need to be rare and ripped. <laughs> rare and ripped. Rare rare from what? Every, we're we all we're all the same. We're all the same. We have we have a brain. We have you know we're we're built the same, but then we don't stay the same. Depending how good you educate you get education you get work ethics you get responsibilities you grow up to be a real man respectful man somebody that can speak well and 
And there's a difference between speaking well and speaking with profanity. You know, you can speak well and use profanity at the same time, but for what, right? But anyways, uh, I don't if if you can tell, I actually, I worked my butt off to clean this thing up for you because I don't like that trash here uh, in my channel, but let's continue. Now, so that was, uh, I can't, I can remember his name, West something, West something. I've came across him before. He's like... Uh, he came out of prison, so on and so on. Uh, but again, to reiterate, you do have to take care of yourself, and you have to. You do have to do what it takes. You got to work hard to be able to have some finances to provide for your family. Get him! Well, hey, what you guys were saying earlier, I need to know what you said in English. <laughs> okay, so. My definition of success will probably be far different than everybody else's on the panel. I'll probably maybe be the lone dissenter, but my definition of success is having a family, having children, and being part of the apparatus of the world. And true wealth is a rejection of materialism. As Christ said himself, what good does it benefit a man to gain the entire world at the cost of his soul? And the, essentially, when I think of wealth, I think of materialism, it's okay to have materialism. It's not against Christian ethics to become rich, become wealthy. But I just think it's all beside the point, ultimately. You're trying to go for a single thing, and it's to achieve something greater you have than money. the person. Does, does he have money? No. Is, do you have money? No. No, well, I don't have money. I don't have, do have? I don't have, have money. money? <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Why is, why is money much, valuable? I'm a, do you have why, money? What is money valuable for? I'm just asking. Do you have money? I just thought, no. I'm broke. I'm a nobody. No, but really, you are? Yeah. Is he really broke? Yeah. I'm just, well, <laughs> I just want to know. I have to know. No, I'm not. Strolling. I'm not one of these rich guys. I don't have a Bugatti. I don't have a Lambo. I, don't I, know, have I a just Ferrari. really have to know. Like, how much money you got? Probably five, the five bucks in my pocket. Not much uh, more. Do they want? Can anyone answer for the guy? <laughs> Why do they think I'm kidding? I have a family. I take care of an entire family. That's yeah. that takes a lot He's of doing money. All right. He's doing all right. Okay. But it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Um. So far, so good, right? So far, so good. I, I'm a Christian myself. Uh, I'm a man of God myself. And uh, so, yeah, it, what good is it that you do this? You gain the whole world, he says, right? You gain the whole world. You get all this success and do this and that. But then you end up losing your own soul. Now, uh, you can use that scripture. You can kind of use it here. But we're talking about finances okay the the I, the problem here is the amount your ambition of su success money success right that's one thing that i found a big red flag with wes is he, he he you have to have all this money you have to be ripped those two things right there uh, are, in my opinion are, are the worst quality uh that you can have uh, or the the worst um the the worst personality or the worst mentality you can have because if you do that that means you're not taking care of your family if you're continually trying to make more and more riches making more and more riches takes away time from you away from being with your family you see that so you can't you can't tell me that you're building building this empire these millions of dollars and you're still there for the family. Have you no, you noticed? Have you not noticed? The majority, nine times out of ten, the most successful entrepreneurs out there right now, uh, businessmen, have been divorced. Have been divorced. The the rate is high. All right, and that's because of that. You have to pick and choose. I choose to support my family. I support. I I choose to to leave some of that time, most of that time, to my family, being there. Uh, educating my kids, being there for my wife, having a conversation, growing, growing old together, so on and so on, right? So, and then now being ripped, right? So that's excessive too. So I, I think those are the two uh, red flags: is too much money. Like, yes, have money, and that's one thing that the Christian guy is not understanding, right? He's saying that there's no value in money. Yeah, there is. We still got to pay the bills. Right. We still got to pay the bills in the Old Testament. We still had to pay the bills. We still had to pay Caesar. Right. 
Um, in the New Testament, Jesus, uh, he, he tells his, his, his disciples, he tells them, uh, do we have to pay taxes? <laughs> right. And his disciples are like, because, man, they're making us pay taxes. We don't we're, we're not part of their kingdom, so on and so on. We're not of this world. Right. But what does Jesus say? Jesus says, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to God what belongs to God. Right. So there you have it right there. Let's continue with this. Okay. This is the thing. This is the thing, you guys. If you ain't fit, you can't say it's not all about being have being in good why, shape. Why not? If you don't have money, you can't say it's not all about money. Yeah, why not? But if he does have money, he can say that. Why not? He why can't. can't you say it? Why must you have the thing? Because you, because before you, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask the question. Because hypothetical is hypocritical. Let me ask the question. Hypothetical is hypocritical. How do you even know what I was going to say before I've even been allowed because to I ask the question? I know what you're going to say. Then what was I going to say? You're going to say, how? why can't you ask the question? Okay, so... That's not what I was going to say. What I was going to say is how in the world can you create a standard that it's inappropriate to ask somebody, how come if I don't have X thing because I don't value X thing, does that mean X thing is actually valuable? You've never experienced it, so you can't speak about <laughs> you it. You think that I haven't experienced wealth? Even I, poor I was people. asking if you did. So there you have it right there. So being ripped is one thing, okay? We're not going to talk about that just yet. Uh, he didn't, the Christian guy, he didn't really go towards the being fit. Because as you can see, you know, we can we, we can see, you know, based on the body, even even the the uh, one and all West West, uh, he he looks like he has a lot of muscle. First of all, does that make you fit? I'm a I'm a personal trainer myself. I, I, I have my own gym. I run uh, fitness every single day and I've, I've been training for 15 years. And I can tell you this right now, just because you got you have all that muscle doesn't make you healthy. All right. So now we have the Christian guy. Um, you can kind of tell, you know, there's no muscle on him. Right. Like, like, let's be honest. There's no muscle on him or anything. like. Does that make him unhealthy? We don't know. We don't know. So West, we don't know. He, he, he might not be unhealthy. The one, the Christian guy, he might not. He might not be healthy either or unhealthy. You know, it just depends uh where you're at health health wise we don't know we don't know like i said you know you can kind of speculate right because it, it shows he doesn't have any muscle uh i don't know how he's doing with the body fat so on and so on but now money he says uh wes says it, you can't speak about something unless you've been there done that right which is true which is true you can have an opinion on it but you cannot give advice. You cannot give advice. You cannot give a, like a teaching. You can't teach somebody or you can't tell somebody not to, unless it's plain, it, it's, it's, it's already plain view that it's, that it's dangerous to where you're going to get killed or something like that, right? Like, here's an example. Um, I've never, I've never walked off a a ten story building and dropped down to where I can die from that, right? Does that mean I can't speak? And does that mean I can't give somebody advice like, hey, don't jump off that ten story building, or else you're gonna die? <laughs> some some kind of some things are just common sense, right? Common sense, so. The big issue here is the whole money thing. All right, these guys, the one, the one on the left, he wants he. The only way that you're a, a real man or a successful man is if you have a ton of money. No, and if you are ripped, no, that's it. Even poor people experience days of wealth. I was they asking can, if you did. I, people, I don't know who you are. Even yeah, but even poor people experience days of wealth, and so the thing is, is no, it's no, not, definitely not. Definitely yeah, not. Def, definitely, no, definitely so. Not. Definitely so. I've lived the lowest lows and the highest highs. Well, what's the, so? What's the distinction after you make X amount, hundreds of thousands of dollars? If you look at the studies done on this, it does not. I don't hugely, fit no. Studies, it does not bro. hugely improve a person's life. Are you proud of who the bro, you are? Why, why, why well, don't look you at, are you proud? If you look in the mirror, would you guys say this is <laughs> proud of who the he is? That's a bag of trash, dude. Pull your shirt off. Because I've been. Tell me you're proud because of Because I've been to fucking prison. Jesus Christ! Because look I've at been to you, prison. Bro. You got ten-inch arms and. 
Men don't have tits. No, have. they go to prison where they get. Yeah, they, they get. He's never been to prison. Look, <laughs> that's he's what talking happens. about shit he don't know. They go to prison well, where they get raped. Now you get your hold on, hold in front you of think that that's guys, better? Guys, you guys. think that that's okay. better? Let's let him give his, his definition of success. And then... Having tits and ten inch arms let's, is what a man is, let's you let guys. Him, let's let him Please get his... don't listen to that. All right. So there you have it. So the majority of, of, of this conversation, first of all, Wes shouldn't be getting rowdy like that can he not control himself he's saying he's this perfect specimen alpha male right and but he's losing his cool like come on really that that's gonna move you the reason why he's moving him is because uh he, the other guy's not agreeing with him and again you don't have to be ripped but you do have to be in semi good shape come on Stop being, stop being soft. We cannot be soft. Why, Manny? But, but why? Because we're protectors. All right, we're protectors. If you can't run, if you can't jump, if you can't live heavy stuff or uh, withstand some kind of, um, you know, uh, situation where you have to have this long-lasting stamina, cardio, so on and so on, you're not gonna make it. You're not. You're not a protector. Right. So uh, that's it right there. If you want to check out the, the whole video, check it out. Fresh and fit. Uh, this thing is going viral because of that. I, that's my two cents right there. I hope I hope it kind of gave you a new perspective, maybe. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button before you leave the video. Let me know and uh, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one.